Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osama here. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use the link shortener inside of your social planner in your Go High Level account. Now, this can be really useful if you do include links in your captions for your social posts. And you know, sometimes we can have these very long links which do not look professional. So if you want to keep them short and sweet, you can use this link shortener inside of your Go High Level account. So let's jump into my screen right here and I'll show you how to use it. All right, so I'm in my Go High Level account right now and I'm under marketing and the social planner right here. So we're gonna head over and click on new post and then click on create new post right here. All right, so once it opens up, we're gonna select the social channel here. So I have Facebook connected. Of course, if you have more connected, you can select them from here. So let's go ahead and select this. And here I'm going to type in some caption here. So I'm just gonna write hi, this is a test post. And then I'm going to copy a link to this form that I have in my sub account. And as you can see, it is a pretty long link. So I'm going to copy this and come back here. Now, instead of posting this right away, I'm going to click on this link icon right here. So if you click on that, you will see that it will give you an option to insert the shortened link. So here you have to name your link. I will call this a form link or you can call this anything you want then here i'm going to paste the url and if i go towards the left we're going to remove the https since that is already included and then on the tracking details you have to select a utm parameter so i already have one created called organic post you can of course create a new one since this form is for real estate so i can just type in real estate campaign or something like that and click on add campaign so it will automatically do that right here then you can also add some custom utm parameters if you want for now i'm just going to go ahead and click on generate and insert link once we're done with this you will see that we do have the same link here under the editor and it is supposed to work that way but if you see in the preview now it has actually shortened that link and if you want to test if this works fine you can click on this link and it will take you to the link that we originally put in which was linking to this form right here so you can see this is working pretty well so if you have longer links you can actually use the link shortener to make those consent size and once you have done that you can of course make sure that it is working in the preview and once you're happy with the settings you can go ahead and make your post right now so i'll just click here and then click on post now and we are done making the post using the link shortener so that was about this brief video i hope you found it valuable if you have any questions feel free to pop them right below this is sama signing off i'll see you in the next one